I've woken up from the night shift, or should I say, the day sleep, and Sonia's off this evening as well. She's a huge Lego fan. I've set her a little challenge. Sonia. Yeah. I hey. have a challenge for you. Okay, I'm always up for a challenge. <laughs> it's probably our first evening off. I know. How, when did you move in? Like I know. Like a week and a half ago or something? Or We're two? ships in the night. Sonia is a huge fan of Lego. Yeah. Well, a do you, there's a nickname for that there. An A fall. An adult <coughs> fan of Lego. I might, I might have been spotted by one or two astute viewers out there with <laughs> the uh, bits of Lego in the background from the previous shoots. You would like me to make a coronavirus out of Lego bricks. Let's do it. Okay, bring it on. <laughs> Broadly speaking, three parts for virus, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got the genetic material. In case of the coronavirus, that's RNA. And then we have a kind of capsule around the outside. That envelopes the, uh, the genetic code, the RNA. And then we have the receptors on the outside as well. Yeah, that's like a, a key that fits into a lock on our cells. And yeah, th those little keys, they're specific to each cell. They're the target often for uh, vaccines to be made. We can create that. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll then talk about all the different elements. Once Grand. We've got it. Okay, right. This, this is a this is a, a snot. That's not the coronavirus snot, by the way. Okay? What the hell is a snot? So a snot is a Lego brick yeah. where the stud is not on top. Hence the name snot. Not, it's not on top. Stud not on oh, top. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking these are gonna be that nice glycoprotein, the spike glycoprotein. Okay. That's on the outside of the coronavirus. Okay. So the coronavirus has all these little spikes or projections that almost make it look like a sun, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why it gets the name coronavirus. In Lego language, this is called an ice cream. <laughs> did you find this type of thing therapeutic? Yeah, I really, I really do. My job can be a tad stressful, mm. and this is just a great way to relax, be a little bit artistic. Also, I think what people might find funny is in the foyer of our hospital, <laughs> there is actually a kind of mock-up, mini version of a hospital, out of Lego, yeah. that you did. When did you do that and how did that come uh, about? So that, I did that one for charity and I did it about five years ago. I decided I was going to do a little le replica of our hospital with uh, its own intensive care ward. Uh, operating <laughs> theatres. Did you put yourself in it? Uh, I did. I appear in there actually twice. Once right. with a um, broken ankle in the orthopaedic department having come off my snowboard. And True story. And secondly in the ICU uh, mm. I appear as Iron Man because clearly we're superheroes. <laughs> so here we go. This okay. Is a, so this is how you make a ball out of Lego. And this is our protein capsule on the coronavirus. Okay. So hey, you want to put some bits on it? Yeah, so these are the so these, these are, are the uh, spike glycoproteins. Spike glycoproteins, okay. So this outer layer yeah. is what is killed when we wash our hands. That's right. So it's actually the soap breaks down the outer layer of the virus and, and yeah. kills it basically. And you, you don't need alcohol gel for that, okay? Soap does just fine. All right, so here's one I made earlier. Just a little <laughs> bit bigger, this one. Uh, and as you can see there, you've got the, uh, the protein shell. Uh, we've got the spike glycoproteins, a nice round structure. Very good. But the important bit is what's inside. So da, da, da. inside we have a single strand RNA. That's it. So this is basically a code. Mm -hmm. And this code tells the cell what to make. So a bit of it here, maybe the top bit, might code for, say, the glycoprotein. The next bit might code for part of the uh, protein membrane. Mm -hmm. Another part might code here for the uh, esterase dimers. And then basically that all hijacks your cell's factories, the ribosomes. Yeah. That RNA comes into the cell, hijacks the ribosomes to create Copies more of itself. Mm. Okay, so what I've done here is I've, I've represented what would happen if you sliced out so you can see that this capsule here has got these receptors mm -hmm. uh, that, that span all the way through. Mm -hmm. And in order to get entry into a cell, these keys, these glycoproteins, need to come along onto a cell surface and they need to fit in like a lock and key mechanism there. 
So these cells here, we obviously know, affect the respiratory tract. Yeah, the type 2 pneumocytes, they're the cells that have this type of receptor. So basically the pneumocytes, so pneumo meaning lung, site yep. meaning cell. cell. We yep. have two types of cell in our lungs. We have the type 1 pneumocytes, which basically allow gas exchange, so they're very thin cells, aren't yep. they? And the type 2 pneumocytes, which are basically support cells that help produce things like surfactant, that helps keep the alveola open, and the virus attacks the type, the two, type 2 pneumocytes. pneumocytes. And that's why coronavirus is a respiratory virus. So these little glycoprotein spikes fit into these, these cups or the, this keyhole, if you aren't, uh, and, and this is something called an ACE2 receptor. Um, and it's the same receptor that the SARS virus oh, okay. um, clicked into. So a cell needs to have those ACE2 receptors in order for the virus to be able to come along and lock into it. So viruses can't divide on their own, they need your cells. Yeah, and they basically hijack your cells, don't they? Hijack yeah. all, all the things that our cells normally need to produce protein. Yeah, and, you need energy and, so. and you need the ingredients, all of those things. Uh, they're all there in our, in our cells already and the, the virus comes along and just hogs it all. And the cell suffers for that. It will end up, the pneumocyte will end up dying, won't it? Yeah, so when, when, the, um, when the cell is full of virus and one little virus here can um, go into a cell and replicate a million times in that one cell and when it's full it pops and as it pops and bursts it releases all that virus again mm. and then you cough it out mm. okay so that's how you infect other people what would be really cool if you guys send us some photos on Twitter yeah, about... Yeah, let's see if someone can do a better coronavirus yes, than this. That would be so good. Very good. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I've had the most enormous fun building this today, so... Uh, and I... we've got the coronavirus in our house now. We this do. Is, do we need to get like... rid of it? <laughs> yeah. You think we need to, like... Smash it against the wall. Should we make it die? <laughs> let's do Give it. Give it some soap. Okay. Here ready? comes the soap. Right, here comes the soap. See, so, yeah, let's just bash this bug, right? Bye bye coronavirus. <laughs> okay, another shift done in the emergency department. I didn't vlog halfway through this time because I was on the non COVID section, but I got to see how the whole department's now been reorganised. It looks really good, it's been working really well. We also have a new wellness room, so I want to try and do a little vlog from in there. I have no idea what it's like. I'm guessing it's like a tranquil place with masseurs and lovely soothing music and a fish tank. <laughs> Maybe I, my expectations are a little bit too high on that. I was super tired on shift today because obviously I started with nights this week and en ended on days, so I should basically be getting up going to work now and I'm actually finishing work that could be a bit of a hard adjustment to make, but you get used to it. Earlier on today at 8pm, there was a big round of applause from lots of people up and down the country to support the NHS, and it gave me goosebumps. Loads of my friends sent me videos of things that were happening in their area. Sonia sent me a photo of the housing area she is that everyone was clapping, and I didn't expect to be quite so moved, but it, it did take me back. And as we said along this journey, we are all in this together, <laughs> to quote our previous Prime Minister. I've heard a lot of people say the NHS are on the front line, and I think I've even used that phrase myself, but actually when you think about it, the general public is the front line. You guys are making huge sacrifices as well to get through this. And don't forget, the virus doesn't just spread. The virus doesn't spread on its own. People spread the virus. So to stop this, the people have to stop it, the general public. You guys are the front line. You guys are actually the ones that make a difference in this pandemic. Obviously, I'm part of <laughs> the general public as well, so I have to be responsible in terms of stopping it from being spread as well. The NHS, we are the last line. You do not want to end up in hospital with this. You want to do everything you can to not end up in hospital. Clearly, if you need the NHS, we are here for you and we will do our best for you. But I wanted to just instill that in you guys, that you are the people that will make the biggest difference in this pandemic. It's not the NHS. The NHS will be there, but there's limited things we can do. We need you guys and team effort. You guys on the front line, 
we're the last line and we can do this together. I know I've said it before on the channel, but I have to say you guys are doing an absolutely amazing job. The general public, from what I see in the hospital, people staying away from the hospital if they don't need to be here, just for other medical things, not just for the COVID-19 stuff. The people we're seeing on our general A&E take have the numbers have massively reduced you are helping us to deliver that last line of defense it's almost like yep we we're gonna let you guys do the job for the people you need to do so i'm super optimistic we just gotta keep doing that it's gonna get worse if we look at the projections it's gonna get worse but you know the the british spirit is is kicking in and you know i'm super proud of you guys we got a got to keep it going i know this is the bit where it's hard we just got to keep that momentum stop it spreading in the community remember the virus doesn't spread it's people spread the virus so keep doing what you're doing i'm gonna go home have some sleep i'm feeling good the team at the hospital we are super motivated as ever and we can do this all right thank you so much for watching this episode i'll be back soon take care of yourselves Keep up the good work and I'll keep documenting what's happening on the ground.